All right, so I wanted to review with you real quick on some fractions um, before you take your fraction assessment for today. Please make sure that you um, <clears throat> take your time and use your multiplication chart that you just made and, um, you know, work slow so you can get all these correct because I would love to see um, you guys be successful. All right, let's just do a couple problems and then you're going to go ahead and get that done. Um, so we'll say two and one fourth plus one and one eighth. Okay, so looking at this problem, you say, okay, well, what does four and eight have in common? Can four go into eight? Yes, yeah, so four can go into eight. So that's what you're going to want to use as your denominator without having to make the M. Eight goes into eight one time. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Four goes into eight two times. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. All right, you add those. Two plus one is three eighths. Don't forget your whole number. So that is that. Easy, easy peasy. Okay. If you have one that is going to want you to subtract that, 16 minus 3 eighths, you can put your 16 there. I like to draw a little box so it reminds me that I need to um, borrow and create a fraction. So you're going to cross out your 16. That becomes a 15. Go to the magical land of fraction where that whole number that you just borrowed turns into fraction pieces. And you're going to want to match that denominator. So it's going to be 8 over 8. So now you can subtract 8 minus 3, which is 5 eighths, and bring down your 15. Okay? All right. Also, let's talk about... Well, let's do one if you... Okay, so if you have... Let me come down here. Um, three and seven this oh wait that wouldn't work because it's too big well i'll just leave it like that minus two and one half okay um if two could not go into to five evenly you can create your M and then work on your multiples to see which one they have in common to do your common factor, to do your common denominator. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times um, four is eight. Two times five is 10. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. So 10 would be your common denominator. Okay, five times what got me 10, that would be two. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Two times, uh, seven times two is 14. Two times five got me to 10. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And that is five. 14 minus five is nine tenths. Three minus two is one. Okay, so that's your answer for that one. Make sure you were doing these with me. If you did not do those with me, go back and uh, work these out with me. Uh, so if you have, well, let's say you have seven over five as a fraction and you need to turn that into a mixed number, you're going to divide five into seven. Five goes into seven one time. One times five is five and you have two left over. All right, the one, the answer, it's always going to be your whole number. The answer to this or the leftover from the subtraction is going to be your numerator and your denominator will always match, will always be the same. Make sure that you use your multiplication chart if you need to, to reduce. Um, and let me know if you have any problems. Bye.